All right, guys, now I'm at the OSS tent here at Industry Day at the range. We got some really exciting suppressors. I'm here with Randy. You guys have been making suppressors for a few years now. What do you have that's new and exciting for SHOT this year? For us this year, um, we're, 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 re we're introducing our QD line, our Helix QD line. Uh, and part of the reason why we're coming out with this uh, and the story behind that is, you know, this older can, uh, which was the can that we were dealing with when new management came in uh, and purchased OSS. Uh, this is our Helix 556 can. It's a great can, but we wanted to make it better. And so from that time, about two years ago, we've been, we've been working in development to produce what we now have as a QD design, right? So uh, a number of changes about the design, right? Uh, and before we get there, and it's, it's the Helix because? Yeah, it's, it's still the Helix line. Oh, why do we call yeah, it the yeah. Helix? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Because so, it's pretty cool, and I want everybody to see that. Yeah, Helix because there's, uh, I mean, it kind of came about, but helical you know, spiraling rotation of the gas. If you, yeah. if, you, if you trace the linear expansion of the gas, it moves in a helical pattern yeah. around a tube, if that makes sense. So, Anyways, I yeah, interrupted you. No, you're fine, you're fine. So the Helix QD line, uh, very, very like our other stuff, except uh, a lot more refined. So, so the older stuff had uh, multiple pieces to it. It had this octagonal, this octagon shape to the sleeve. Um, things that, that we knew we could, we could improve. Um, there were a number of setbacks with this design uh, that I w maybe, maybe it wouldn't be fair to say they're setbacks. Uh, just inherent things that were a little bit more difficult for us with this design. For one, it was uh, more expensive to produce, right? Having the multiple pieces that come apart the, dealing with quality control and everything that we were dealing with these designs. I mean, they're great and they accomplished everything we wanted them to accomplish in terms of flow through, in terms of suppression. We just enhanced it, is, is what we did. So we, we more or less built a solid single piece, like you traditionally see, mm -hmm. um, with a round tube with a thicker body. We really tra challenged our product development team to, to really listen to the customer on, on, in all regards on this. Um, so working with, working with government, law enforcement, and, and commercial, you know, in the civilian market, you know, really trying to listen to what we thought the customers wanted. And essentially, they wanted something that was lighter, mm -hmm. that was shorter, that was stronger. And, and we were able to produce that in this uh, at a more affordable cost. So 762, uh, I mean the older 762 Helix can, I want to say it was maybe about 23 ounces. I, I, don't quote me, I mean it's in the mm, channel. Sure. Right, right. About 23 ounces. This, uh, this new 762 can is 19.6. Okay. Right? Uh, so the cost to produce them, we, we improved that as well. So MSRP went from maybe fourteen ninety nine down mm -hmm. to nine ninety nine. Okay. Eight ninety nine on our five five right. six model. So uh, bring into market something that more affordable and just better all around, mm -hmm. just better. Mm -hmm. And so you just you accomplished cost and performance savings yeah. through changing the manufacturing. Yeah, process yeah changing it a bit. Yeah, and and really what it was, it, I think the best way to describe it is just an enhancement, right? So there there are some. Things we liked about this design, we, we loved that it self-tightened onto the muzzle device so you didn't have to worry about it backing off. Um, we more or less refined that with this design. I'll go ahead and grab this so you can see that really clear, right? So we built a, a taper lock system, mm -hmm. right? We, we call it our torque lock system. Uses a taper, seals the gas very easily, or very, very well actually, seals the gas and, and mm -hmm. keeps the carbon out of the threads. Mm -hmm. We've got a comp and a brake, and, I mean, it, it, and it's pretty simple. We still like that it rotates. I mean, mm -hmm. one thing that we kept is that to tighten it, it's, it's lefty tighty, uh -huh. tighty loosey, right? Uh -huh. and, and we did that because it's common for, for a lot of suppressors, they can have carbon buildup and they can lock. Mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of suppressors were carbon locking. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not uncommon for people to put a strap wrench on their can or whatever, and when they try to pull that can off, they pull the mount off with it, uh, and it gets stuck makes, in the can. Yeah, complete yeah, so, sense. So, so we more or less said, well, let's, let's counter that. Right. So, right. so when I'm, if this thing ever did carbon lock, and I'm putting a wrench on it or something. It's going in the opposite Correct. direction than the uh, the QD device, Correct. the muzzle device. Correct. So it, you're not going to take both of them off because that's Correct. what would ultimately happen. Yeah. In terms of carbon seizing and carbon buildup, mm -hmm. we haven't really had a lot of problems with this mount. Um, 
We've run multiple SOCOM reliability stress test you know, sessions on, on a lot of our mounts. And in between sessions, after thousands of rounds, we've never had an issue being able to pop it loose with our hand. It stays tight, stays on there, and, and it's not going to come off. Is that AK concentric? Am I going to be able to shoot that absolutely. without a baffle absolutely. strike? We double check too. No, <laughs> nice. yeah, we we, double, we know there's notorious issues with AKs. This one's concentric. We're, we're good to go on that. <laughs> yeah. And an AKs are inherently gassy by sure. themselves and yeah. difficult to suppress. Yeah. With our oh, flow definitely. through design, it's not affecting the gun, so it works great. When's this out on the market? Is now. it already out? Yes, it is. And so I, anybody can just, uh, where are you guys selling them through? Well, we I know there's a bunch them? of distributors okay. that, that, that are beginning to take orders. And uh, of course, there's, there's dealer levels, so mm -hmm. we'll sell to dealers at certain buy-in levels. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they, they've hit the market. We, we're still, uh, we've still got a good amount of the old stuff mm -hmm. that we're selling, uh, and we're selling it for less. Sure. Right? Just, just to make room for the new stuff as we're coming into you know, this, this QD line. Randy, I'm itching to shoot that AK Absolutely. with the new suppressor on it. Yeah. Let me, can I fire it up? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Not going to be an issue at all. <laughs> Let me pull this thing out here. Yeah,